Well, hello there. You are watching The Candy Show on YouTube, and it's time for empties. Um, it seems like when we did that trial last month of breaking the empties up into different categories, there was only one of you who didn't like it. Everyone else really enjoyed it, so we're going to carry on in that way for a while, and so we're back around to uh, fragrance empties. So I'm going to start with Home Stinkies, as Mama Denise calls them, and I'm going to put my glasses on. So I can read what is actually happening here. So these are all the oils for our atomizers, which we have in every room. These are the, I'll show you the Body Shop ones first. This one is exotic, which is really nice. Another exotic. This one is basil and thyme. And the Body Shop ones are really, and another basil and thyme. The Body Shop ones are really affordable, which is nice. Um, but these are expensive, but oh my goodness, they're so awesome. We get them on. Yeah, Denise is going, yeah. And they throw better. <laughs> they really do throw. This one is cinnamon. Uh, and the company, I get them on Amazon, but the company specifically, this company is called P&J. And so far, it's the, it's the best of all the oils. That sound is Denise, like, giving me the thumbs up. Absolutely. So another one from that line is forest pine. Mm. Beautiful. You just think you're in the forest. And this one is called Malibu Rum Cupcakes. So I think the P&J are the winners for Mama Denise and I. Move on to Wallflowers. So we've got two of them with no tags on them, so I'm not sure what they were. I can tell by the color. They had to be fall related. Probably leaves. I had a lot of leaf ones. This one is Autumn, and this one is Marshmallow Fireside. Two of my very favorite fall fragrances from Bath & Body Works. Oh, in case I know if someone's out there is going to ask about my lips. So I'm going to show... Oh, actually, i put this on so I can see what, what it is. So I've got three things on my lips. One is a Dior lip pencil in the color 999, which is a Rouge Dior. Right, that's that Dior red. And then I've got a Dior lipstick. This was a special edition packaging, but it's basically uh, the 999 Ultra Dior. So 999 you can get in matte, satin, and super glossy, I think, and I have it in it all. But this was a special edition one that came out last Christmas. And then over the top of that, I have a Pat McGrath lip gloss in the color Blood to Lust. No, sorry, Blood to Lust Gloss is what it's called, I think. No. I think it's Blood to Lust Lip Gloss. There you go. Now I will do candles, so I'll keep the glasses on. First, I've got a candle box. Uh, this is the last of my Kat Von D uh, melt candles. It's like they're pillar candles that look like they were already melted. What are they called? Uh, bougie pre-dripped pillar candle and the boxes were beautiful but we were just talking about how I don't want any I don't want any more clutter in this apartment so I'm gonna get rid of that box I've got a bunch of the little travel candles these I got all at Christmas last year because for some reason Bath and Body Works has stopped carrying these on the regular but every now and then on special holidays uh, you can find them. So I buy a bunch of them when you do and we burned a bunch of them because I'm not traveling but one of our Halloween decorations burned three candles this size in it so we went through them. So this one was cinnamon caramel swirl. This was flannel which is a lovely smell. We had winter. Tis the season. So you can see these are all like holiday related. And I'm not reading you the bottoms because there's no explanation on the bottom of these. Frosted Cranberry and Fresh Balsam. They were really lovely. And then when Jessica sent us that huge box of stuff last Christmas, she had a number of these travel candles, which I had been taking with me on the road. <sighs> when there was such a thing as being on the road. Remember that, people? Remember when you could, like, leave your house and go to an airport and get on a plane and fly somewhere and go to a hotel. I miss those days. Anyway, these were from that. Uh, and they are from the soap shop, bar, bar company soap shop. And they were all 
or both of them were watercress and mint scents. And I like these because they've got the lid. So when you actually are traveling, it keeps it safe. Okay. This candle. It's so it's pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath and Body Works. Described as maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. This candle, this particular one, through scent, like this, we're in my room. I would have this over on my vanity. I would light it. It would not be lit a minute. Denise, out in the living room, would say, oh, that candle. Like, it, hey, babe, mm -hmm. it filled this apartment. So I ordered a bunch more in this flavor, and I'm burning one right now on my nightstand. I don't feel like it is throwing the way this one did. So I don't know if, like, somebody spilled extra scent into it or what but when i go back to another three wick like this because i did order two of them we'll see if it throws like this one did this was the best performing bath and body works candle i've had to date that's big words next up watermelon lemonade watermelon ice sparkling water meyer lemon it was from the summer but it was very nice another lovely haul one i love these labels too um pumpkin apple Red Delicious Apple, Fall Pumpkin, Fresh Ground Cinnamon, and Clove Buds. Oh, and this one was for Halloween. Look how cool it is. So it's got like a bat caught in spider web all around it. And then the vampire teeth. And it's called Vampire Blood. Blood Red Strawberry, Midnight Blooming Jasmine, Dark Transylvanian Plum, Full on Dracula. This is another favorite of mine. This is Paris Cafe. And I also enjoy this packaging with the smoked cases and just like the old school um, labels. Rich roasted coffee, sugared brioche, vanilla creme. Creme. <laughs> well, you know. Um, leaves, my favorite. Crisp red apple, golden nectar, warm clove spice. Oh. I don't know what it is about the leaves candle, but it is my favorite still. And I know that's like everybody it's their favorite, but it, for a reason, it is so good. Now I'll take my glasses off because I won't need them. So if you recall, I got a couple of candles that looked like this that I thought Yankee Candle had changed their name because it was called, they were called Village Candle and I didn't love the wax in them. But then I realized, no, they're two separate things. This village candle is made to look like a bit of a ripoff of this. So I got this Yankee candle and it was in Midsummer's Night. I got it for the fall because look at how beautiful that label is. The purple sky with the big full moon. And it really, it smells like, I find it smells a bit like men's aftershave. So I'm not sure why it's called Midsummer's Night. They don't describe their fragrances on the bottom. So, but it was a nice candle and it burned well. Unlike, for instance, this candle. <laughs> Beautiful, right? So pretty. Looks like old fashioned. Got it from Chapters, Chapters Indigo. It's 01 Lavender and Chamomile. And the scent inside is lavender, sandalwood, and eucalyptus with notes. Uh, yeah, those are the notes. So the top is not, there's not a stopper. So easily the top falls off. You see how small the hole is? You see how big this hand is? So when you light it the first time, not too bad. As soon as that wax gets down to about here, as you're trying to light it, your hand is blocking the oxygen. And so it, you light your lighter and it instantly goes out. You light your match and it instantly goes out because there's not enough oxygen to feed the flame. So Denise, the last burn of it, Denise actually got a long skinny lighter in there and her little hand was far enough back that it, it sucked up enough, enough, enough oxygen to burn, but I would never buy that again. Tried and True Company, you know how much I love these. This is Veluspa and this one was White Current and Alp, Alpine Lace. I picked this up, I think, last Christmas. And what I love about these, if you see them on Sephora for this Christmas, it looks like that is completely solid. And there's, you can get it like rose gold, silver gold, but there's actually, it's like almost like lace, like there's little prick, pin prick holes. So when you light the candle, the light comes through those little holes. It looks really beautiful. 
and it smells really beautiful. And I know they're crazily overpriced, but I can't help it. I love Tom Ford. How do I explain how much I love Tom Ford? Um, I've said it before. I would marry Tom Ford. Um, I just, I would wear Tom Ford clothes if I could fit them. I love Tom Ford's scent. I love Tom Ford aesthetic. I watch a single man all the time because even when he makes movies, everything is beautiful. And his candles are the same, but his candles are getting crazier and crazier. They haven't changed. They haven't gotten bigger. When I first bought a Tom Ford candle, so you, you can buy them with the lid, the snuffer lid, or you can buy them just like this. So I bought one snuffer lid a long time ago and I just keep it and I use it on every candle. When I first bought a Tom Ford candle, they were around $90. That, and this, bear in mind, um, this is, well, I can't see the, I can't see how many, I can't see exactly what the size is, but you can see it's not a huge candle, right? It's not massive. They went up to 120 bucks. And now I wanted to get fucking fabulous, which I thought I had before, but that candle is $150 and it's this size. So I don't know. I know the 20% sale is on right now, but that is still, you're still looking at like a hundred bucks. So, but they're beautiful. They smell wonderful. The wax is uh, dark brown, so it looks really sharp. And this is Soleil Blanc, which is one of my favorite scents to wear in the summer. So I burnt this just kind of before fall set in. So nice. And now I'm going to move into the uh, perfumes and, uh, and various perfume-like products. So keeping with the Tom Ford theme, I this is a Tom Ford Oud Wood Body Moisturizer. If you're a longtime watcher, you know Denise smells fabulous, drowned in Oud Wood. Denise is my wife, for those of you who are joining us for the first time. Um, and this, I think, was in her advent calendar that I made for her last year. Am I not right? Yeah. So she just came to the end of that. I've been trying to use up some of my travel, uh, my little travel minis, just because I'm not traveling. I don't want them to all go off. Uh, so this, this was actually what part of Denise's advent calendar last year. It is the Tom Ford Noir de Noir travel fragrance. <sighs> I love Noir de Noir. That is a scent. It's unisex and it is so sexy. So beautiful. Uh, I also tried Gucci Bloom, which was okay. Uh, her by Burberry. I was I was looking at this as to thinking about buying it in full size. Now that I've tried it, I think I will eventually buy that in full size. It's very, very kind of soft and romantic. This is Vanilla Woods by The Seven Virtues. And that's about exactly what it smells like. Vanilla and sort of woodsy. And this is Tom Ford Noir Extreme. So I've noticed this year he's come out with a number of extreme or intense. Like there's a new uh, Black Orchid Intense. Black Orchid is intense as it is. I, his, his scents are so heavy and intense. I'm not sure why you need to make them even more intense. And I thought maybe like the notes are a little bit different, but no, I've watched some reviewers that say it's the exact same smell. It's just a stronger version of it. But anyway, Noir for Her uh, by Tom Ford or the original Noir. Oh, so beautiful. Now you'll know uh, if you watch a lot that I have a very big minis collection. I've been trying to work through those. So I worked through one of my Tresor by Lancome minis. I love this fragrance. This fragrance reminds me of my mother who has now passed on. I've told stories before about how she came to uh, enjoy this fragrance. I bought it for her. And I never owned it for myself in full size, but every time I get a sample or a tester, I'm reminded how much I love it, so at some point I will have to bite the bullet and get that in full size. Viva La Juicy for when you just want to slum it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Juicy Couture scents are so sweet and so not subtle, um, and they're not sophisticated, but every now and then, I don't know, man, it's like going back to your mall bangs. It's like going back to your mall bangs. You just, you know they looked horrible, but you love them, and the bottles are always a little bit gaudy, but I am a sucker for a sweet scent, and I do love that one. The Marge Maison Margella uh, replica line. This one is Sailing Day. I got these from Denise last year. There were five of these little minis. Uh, Sailing Day is beautiful for the summer. But 
I was a little disappointed. These all, so these came out, this kit came out at Christmas, but it was mostly their summer scents. Like I thought it would be like Fireside, Jazz Club, the uh, library, like those kinds of um, scents, Sunday morning, but instead it were all these summer scents. But they're nice, it's just they were unseasonal. Here's another company that uh, is not known for subtlety, Nest. This is Wisteria Blue, and Wisteria Blue is... It smells rich. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it except to say it, you put this on and it's, you smell like you have a lot of money. Like when I put this on, I feel like, oh, I should be wearing a Chanel suit. Do you know what I mean? It has that like older woman loaded with money going to the country club for lunch. That's what this is. Where has this been all my life? This is, you'll probably recognize, recognize the bottle. It's by Yves Saint Laurent. It's Mont Paris. And I have seen this in ads on Sephora, like, I don't know, this has to be out for at least 10 years, at least. And somehow this mini came into my possession and when I was going through my minis, I thought, oh, I'll pull that out. Oh my goodness, it is so sophisticated, so sexy. And here's the thing, I'm a heavy doser, like I put a lot of perfume on. I dab some of this on my collarbone, on my wrists, and inside the crooks of my elbows. And the next day, I woke up and I could still smell it. Like, that is something because usually on an average day, I put my perfume on about four times. This was once in a 24 hour period. Ugh, I can't even describe it to you because I don't know notes. I'm not, I'm not one of those professional noses, but just to say it's sophisticated and sexy. Like, if I'm. If I'm looking to get lucky, this is the scent I'd want to reach for. And then we have some full size. Two Tom Fords. One uh, Mama Denise used up. Mama Denise smells beautiful in Oud Wood, but she used this in the summer. This is Oud Mineral. And I would say it smells like Oud Wood at the ocean. So it has like almost like that salt water um, after smell to it, but it still has a nice heavy Oud note. It smelled really nice on her. This one Denise and I both used. This is Noir de Noir by Tom Ford. This is like a really spicy scent with a little hint of vanilla in it. And it's, it's wonderfully unisex. I think this would smell really hunky on a dude. Denise likes more masculine scents. It smells great on her. I like feminine scents. It smells great on me. It is just a really... It's one of those ones that if someone's saying to me, okay, I have limited money, I want to buy a Tom Ford, what should I pick? If it's summertime, every time I will say Soleil Blanc, try Soleil Blanc. This is what I would recommend for the winter because the fact that it spans from Denise's taste to my taste and both of us enjoy wearing it, it's kind of shows how universal it is. It's just a beautiful, uh, beautiful scent. Sad to see the end of that because as you know with Tom Ford, these are $300 bottles. Okay, so I have a couple things to say about this. This is Black Opium the Eau de Parfum, and the Hair Mist. So let me first talk about Black Opium. Um, so sorry if you've heard the story before, long time viewers, but I'm gonna tell the story again. In university, there was this woman named Lorraine. She wore the original opium perfume. The first time I smelled it on her, I thought I was in Marrakesh in a spice den. I said, oh my goodness, what are you wearing? She told me what it was. I priced it at Eaton's. It was way out of my price range at the time. I was like 18, 17 or 18 years old. I saved up to buy it. it. Took me almost a year to save up. I went and bought it. I sprayed it on me. It smelled like cat pee. I was so sad. I even thought maybe it was a bad bottle, but then I sprayed it on my mother and it smelled beautiful like it did on Lorraine. So I ended up giving the bottle to my mom and realized I would just have to accept smelling opium on other people. But then a few years ago, as you know, black opium came out, smelled great on me, obviously smelled great on everybody because for a while there, I don't know if it still is, but it was like the most sold perfume. So I saw that it came out in this limited edition sparkly bottle, which tricked my trigger and I got it. And I did really like it. It is, it is not sophisticated. It is just a kind of a, so it doesn't, it doesn't really feel like the original opium in terms of its level of sophistication, but it's far more accessible. Um, the only problem with it is when you wear it, you're going to smell like so many other women because so many people wear it. So that's what I have to say about the Eau de Parfum. Now, I want to talk about hair mist for a bit. 
The first time that I saw, you can see there's a little bit left in that, but the first time that I saw a hair mist, I thought, oh, what a great idea because uh, some people spray their perfume on their hair, but perfume has alcohol in it and, and I don't want my hair to get frizzy or dry out or... So I just thought it was a great idea to have um, a hair mist that you could spray on. I don't think this is all that different. I think it's an eau de toilette basically because I sprayed it on my hair. It had the same effect as spraying straight perfume on my hair. So it made it feel a little bit dry when it dried down. Um, and why can't I just spray my own perfume in the air and walk through it to get it on my hair. So I have one other hair mist. Uh, I think it's the Mugler's Alien. I will use it up because I have it. I would not invest in another hair mist and I would recommend you not either. Except, this is the exception, sometimes really expensive perfumes have a hair mist that you could just spray on your body and it smells wonderful. But So an example of that is um, Perfume de Marley Delina. Delina has been on my wish list for a long time, but Delina is like $300. I think it's almost $350 at Nordstrom here. Um, but Delina has a hair mist in almost the same kind of bottle and the hair mist is only a hundred bucks. So you can get it sprayed on your clothes, sprayed on your hair and still have the smell of Delina without having to drop the 400 bucks with tax. So that's my rant on hair mist. And the very final thing in today's video, I went through a full big bottle of Joe Malone wood sage and sea salt. People argue about a lot of things with this. They argue about whether it's a, a unisex or a female fragrance. It is a unisex fragrance. They tout it that way. And I, 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 a man could get away with this. People, Some people swear by it as a winter fragrance. Some people swear by it as a summer fragrance. I come down the middle. I love wearing this fragrance just when summer is turning into fall. So when you would go to the beach, you would go to the beach, but it's cool enough that you've got jeans and a sweater on. Do you know what I mean? So you still have the warmth of the sun, but you can smell the way salt water smells when the weather starts to get cold. That's what Wood Sage and Sea Salt reminds me of. It is, I think, one of her best scents that she ever came out with. People talked about it nonstop when it came out. You don't hear people talk about it as much anymore. Denise got me this for my birthday, oh, I want to say four or five years ago. And right to the last drop, it didn't go off. It still smelled great. The only problem with Joe Malone, they're colognes. So you have to splash them on a lot through the day because they don't last for a long time, but they're beautiful. And that is the end of my Stinkies Empties. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you to those of you who joined us for our sporadic Vlogtober. We will be putting out a weekly vlog leading up to Vlogmas starting on December 1st. Two of my advent calendars are in. I'm almost done filling Denise's advent calendar, so make sure you're subscribed. You are not going to want to miss Vlogmas. We are re redoing this room, moving it around, and Denise and I were just talking about ways we could declutter our, our main living space, which has her very excited. Anytime I talk about letting go of things, it makes her happy. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, do give me a thumbs up. I will see you in the next video. Be safe out there, wear a mask, stay distant. It's